know it's going to be a good chess session. We got Mr. Jacob Hutton in the house. We like to start off with some flat bench press. Get this going. This is really how we really gauge if we're getting stronger or not. Now, you don't have to start off with flat bench. We've been doing this the last couple of weeks. Again, strength progression is important for us. Working off of really six reps here, making sure we're going nice and heavy for this first exercise. You know, you can you need to get stronger in order to get bigger eventually. It's one of those things that a bigger muscle is eventually a stronger muscle because you're able to do more weight in that hypertrophy rep range. But you can see here, working our way up, pyramiding up in weight. Trying, I'm really trying to make sure my elbows don't flare out too much here. That's always been kind of my issue. Jake, of course, is just a massive bench press, bench presser. From there, we go straight into our decline work. So our decline work, you can see this bench is somewhat out of decline here, just enough to where we're able to do about eight reps of the same weight we were doing on the flat surface we're doing here on the decline. Again, decline, we're focusing a little bit more on lower chest. And then this machine, I'm a big fan of the pec deck. This one was even cooler. I've never seen anything like this. The bench is actually at an incline. So it's an incline chest fly machine. And what we're doing is we're supersetting it with our decline. Going nice and heavy on the decline and then going 12 reps or so on the fly. It's just Jake, just repping it out. 315, no, no worries here. Strong triceps. Triceps are gonna be a big factor in bench pressing. So we wanna always make sure that we, you know, use our triceps and that last one third of the movement. You can see we're leaning back. It's because of that incline, getting a nice stretch. I love pec decks that force your elbows to touch rather than your hands because that really is going to get more chest activation. If you, you can touch your hands and use a lot more anterior delt, but touching your el elbows always going to activate your chest. Again, we're finishing up here on our decline. We got three sets of decline supersetted with the chest fly. This stretch on this machine was just insane. Really cool old school gym here. From our superset, we're going with an incline hammer strength here. So we're shooting for 10 reps on this. And if you're not making crazy faces, are you even working out, bro? That Gymshark camo though is looking really, really clean if I do say so myself. Need a haircut, but good set, Steve. Let Jake have a turn. From there, we're going into our incline chest flies. Now with this one, you can see, I'm trying to keep my elbows somewhat you know, locked out. Not all the way locked out, but just a little bend in there. And then at the bottom, I'm rotating, getting a good stretch, and then trying to touch my elbows at the top, which really forces me into a, a supinated position here. Now, this move can be hard on your shoulders. As you can see, I'm only using 25 pounds in each hand. Jake's turn. Yo, shout out to Jake for the hat. You know, like that's not a hat I could pull off, but Jake, you're looking like white man can't jump and no one's gonna say anything to you because your bob wire tattoo is scaring all of us. Good stretch, all about that stretch here. Second set here, biggest thing, keeping the elbows to the side. The lats are engaged, so what I mean by that is my chest is out, my lats are down, and I'm pinching with my shoulder blades and then squeezing, pressing away at the top. I think I had one more in you. We well, had one more in you, Steve. Don't shortchange yourself there. Triceps just hanging off the bone. Good stretch, rotate and come up. I really like doing my flies like this. Rotate at the bottom and then again, try to touch my pinkies together basically, which again, leaves me in a supinated position at the top. I think you guys can actually get that Gymshark camo shirt. It's been up on the site for a minute now. This was my first time wearing it. Again, this gym is about as old school as it gets. Every machine probably is older than me, but it's one of those things that they're just broken in just perfectly now. All right, last superset. We're going dips here for chest. You can see I'm not locking out at the top because again, I'm focusing on my chest here, not my tricep. So that I'm going below 90 degrees to get a good stretch, leaning forward, going all the way down, and I'm just going to failure here. So whatever you got, we're pre-exhausting and then going over to our cable fly. So going down, touching our hands, getting a nice stretch. Again, trying to keep the same elbow angle throughout the entire movement. Stretch, contract, same elbow movement. Jake does his dips a little bit differently than for my chest dips. He's getting a little bit more tricep in there as he keeps his body a little bit more upright. I try to bend over a little bit more. 
but this is a great finishing movement we're forcing a lot of blood by supersetting these two mo movements and you know a lot of a lot of chest volume today so this is an extra this is a day that we focus on strength first and then we're moving into some super high volume forcing just a ton of blood into the chest on these last two movements because you're gonna you're gonna want to leave with a sick pump you guys know that i know that you know it's it's a chest they must so we hit the strength movements and then we move on and make sure that we're doing some volume and that, that's the biggest thing get better before you come in and work out hone in on what it is going to be that day if you guys want to see more of this check out fitness culture's website also obviously i got tons of videos on my channel make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't i'm gonna go get a little shake yeah.